As we continue our effort to highlight area businesses that are open for business, Victoria Woodall takes us to a shop in Northeast Philadelphia that has been in the music business for more than 80 years. Tori joins us now from her home to tell us more about Pat's Music Center. Hi, Tori. Hey, Jess, and yeah, if uh, this store's a rockin', you better come and knockin'. That's right. I mean, they've been doing this for decades, and Pat's Music Center is a very special, very special shop not only to the Northeast community, but to the area. It's one of the oldest in Philadelphia that's been doing what they do. And actually, my dad used to take music lessons there. Uh, and maybe you have too. So take a look because Pat's Music Center in Northeast Philly is open for business. Do you play any instruments? I don't play any instruments. <laughs> <laughs> You never thought to just pick something up? <laughs> a kind of the front of the house guy. Right. You know? Right. The like, leader of the band. The <laughs> leader of the band. That That's is true. you. Sounds like Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's Music Shop in Mayfair is one of the oldest music shops in Philadelphia. Everybody's got a memory of, you know, whether their dad or their grandmom. Uh, I hear it several times a week. You know, I knew your grandfather, your grandfather fixed my saxophone. And it was started in 1937 by Bob's grandfather. At the time, it was called the Frankfurt Saxophone Shop. Eventually, it was renamed and Bob's dad would take over, but he wasn't there solo. I went down the first day that he took over and somebody came in and asked for a record and my father really didn't know what it was. And I says, Dad, I says, we have that record. And he says, well, run after the customer. I says, and I guess the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a day that I don't enjoy going to work and uh, I guess case in point, I work seven days a week. Did you ever get that cold fly yet? Yeah, you, yeah. You did? Yeah, I saved it for you. So I've seen from 45s to albums to 8-tracks to cassettes to CDs wow. and now kind of back to vinyl. You yeah. know. <laughs> While the power of the internet has changed how people buy music, the power of simply listening to music has been evergreen. And because of that, Pat's Music Center has survived the past and the present with the help of their loyal listeners. They're looking for simple times because this is a complex time. Because of COVID, you know, uh, music makes them feel better. Doesn't sound like you are going to stop the music anytime soon. I can't stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> This is my passion, and I'm going to be here. This is where I want to be. So your daughter wrote in, and she said that you were the hardest working person that she knows. <laughs> my father instilled that to me, you know, work ethic. And I remember one time I said, Dad, I said, hey, yeah, I want to kind of stay home. You know, my friends are coming over, we're going to go swimming. And he goes, well, that's great. Let's go to work. <laughs> Look at how you've thrived. Was it the work ethic? I think so, yeah, just being there all the time. The store runs the best when I'm here. That's why you're the leader of the band. <laughs> I guess so. I can't help but smile every time I watch this piece because every time I go to these small businesses, when I talk to the owners, they love it. They love what they do. The community loves them. And the reason why we do this segment is because they need our help. I want to give a shout out to Bob's daughter who reached out to me and she said, my dad has never taken a vacation in his, enti in his entire life because he loves what he does. She did a GoFundMe for Pat's Music Center to make sure that they survived. And you know they're, they're doing what they can, but this is really our responsibility to help them out so they don't have to stop the music. So I encourage all of you to go visit Bob at Pat's Music Center. They do music lessons. They have CDs, vinyl, uh, instruments. They have everything you need, DJ equipment. So go visit them. And uh, Jess, if you were to pick up any vinyl, what do you think you would pick up? Oh, any one? I know, I just put you on the... Pink yeah. Floyd? Oh. I don't know, what would you do? Um, I'd do a Stevie Wonder. Probably okay. do a Stevie Wonder. Okay. I love the Doors, do though, too. I'd probably do the Isley Brothers, maybe. You guys okay. not. You guys aren't hip to them, though, are you? I don't know. All right, I'm we'll find a band and we'll I'm circle back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tor, thanks.